Yeah, Absolutely. it lights it right up. And we've got some friends. What's your friend's name over here? That's Cosmo. Cosmo, you want to come say hi? Yeah. yeah this is Cosmo. Yeah. He's the puppy. Yeah. Zos, the old man, is probably going to hang out over there. You stay yeah. down for a second. Yeah, he's, he's in, in, intrigued with the technology. Yep. <laughs> And he probably has some dog cookies over there. Oh, Chase McHenry, uh, a long time sugar loafer. And you know, we watching the archive, watching you bartend at the window. Yeah, right it there. scares me to look back on some of those oh, days. Yeah, I don't <laughs> even know what year that was. This but... will be, I don't know, that would have been the late 80s, probably. Yeah. Early 90s. Yeah. I've been a ski patroller for 30 years now. Yeah. So, wow. yeah, it's been a few years. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Still... also, uh, you must have done some ski race. I know you race in the. I raced. I raced locals. I raced way back, high school and a little bit of college stuff. Yeah. Had fun. Yeah. Learned enough to ski. And and did you come here and then just decide? Uh, or where I you was from that originally? classic case. I got out of college. I, I actually graduated midwinter, like an early December trimester thing. Yeah. Don't worry, mom. I'm just going to Sugarloaf to be a ski bum for one year. One and I'm year. Gonna, then I'm going to go join the real world. And that yeah. was 1980, whatever that Thank was. Thank God <laughs> I didn't do that, huh? So, yeah, I've been here since since the 80s yep. um, and enjoyed every minute of it. And, of course, the rack is where you will find Chase, and he is a man of many hats at the rack. I see you do a, quite a few different um, things. There. Basically, head toilet fixer, <laughs> clean up the messes, pick up after everything else. Yeah. And <laughs> Trust my staff to do everything correctly. Exactly. exactly. Uh, we do have, and a lot of people, you'll be, you'll be psyched to know that we have um, Corey back. Corey right. was our chef. Five or six years ago, I went to Colorado, went to Colorado. worked in a couple of, of great restaurants, and then worked up with uh, the Copeland Kitchen House, mm -hmm. really refining his skills with, with Tony. And, uh, and he came back to us, and we're, we were so glad to get him back on board. Right. It just it puts together our perfect kitchen. I think we've got our best, our best staff in a long time. It's good that he went on that pilgrimage to realize home was a great place. We, uh, yeah, and he also... he. he he got married, he slowed down, he learned how to cook, and he's coming back as another man. It's I awesome. I did not know he got married. That's good news. That's no, good just, news. He just got married this fall, but he's got a one-year-old. They've got a kid, and wow. they're, they're rocking it. Yeah. Well, Corey is there time. and cooking up some goodies. Uh, tell us some about the things that uh, we can find that, uh, that you're really loving Corey cooking. Well, I mean, starting in about a week and a half, two weeks, when we go to seven days a week, mm -hmm. we're going to be back on our new menu, and Corey's adding a bunch of new things. Not, you'll see a lot of the same, a lot of barbecue, a lot of our regulars, yep. but he's going to be adding a lot of unique items, and uh, basically because we're, once we're running seven days a week, we can run a lot more items. Yep. We're not worried about what we're gonna, what's not going to work that week. Mm -hmm. So I think you'll see a lot of the old favorites, but a lot of new flavors that have come in. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be fun. And of course the smoker. The smoker, the smoker. We've got Steve, our new smoker, who's living right on the mountain, right across the street from Seth Westcott. And he is smoking all of our stuff now. So it's consistent. It's the same every week. We, we'd struggled for years to get consistency in our smoking. And right now I think we've got it down to the best we've ever done. Mm. Um, I challenge anyone to come in and enjoy the ribs there. They're smoked and then wrapped in foil and re-smoked in cider, so they're, they're much they're moister. They're Rickard cider. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's good stuff. Well, you know, I always say, Chase, the more you smoke, the better you get at it. I think that's what Sugarloaf said for years. Yeah, yeah, no, no. and uh, I, I'm a firm believer of that. And you you are going to have uh, regular hours. It's a little different. We, right okay, now. Uh, right now, we, as of this week, we'll be opening our five day a week. So we'll be closed Monday, Tuesdays just for a couple more weeks. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be open seven days a week. Once we're open seven days a week, we're there for the season. And we'll have our regular things going on on Monday nights. Right now, we have trivia on Sundays, mm -hmm. but just for two more weeks. Then it'll go to Mondays for the season. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Tuesdays as a prime rib night, mm -hmm. um, old school. Central Maine restaurants. Get a good primer about there on a Tuesday and have it and have at it. Yeah. Uh, Wednesdays will be open mic night. Yeah. And I believe they're also going to do Wednesdays the barbecue special. It's going to be. Right. It's kind of like a twofer, but a barbecue special on Wednesdays. Thursdays will be Mug Club members and their dinner, and then Friday, Saturday, Sundays we'll have music and everything. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit. Your open mic is 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 really well supported. What do you it's. Think? Um, Man, you I, I got. I, I have to admit the. The year, the, what was it, um, before the bowling alley, uh, when they closed down, 
and we heard Jason Mancini was going to be available. Yep. We jumped on him, I think the same day they shut down, we called Jason and said, will you please come to our open mic? Jason's a phenomenal open mic guy. He brings drums, guitars, so you can walk in with nothing and play. Right. And if you want to walk in with a band, if you're a, a bunch of guys from Bangor or Augusta or somewhere yep. that's got a, a new band and you want to get a gig up here, come on in on an open mic and play a couple songs. And, that's the way to impress and, and just, your friends. And, and sign us up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come yep. in and audition. No, that's, that's been a great night, and the locals really love it. You know, if you come up here, you may or may not have brought your instrument, but, I mean, I, I walked in. Jason's bass, always got a couple of guitars. Yeah. He's a bass, a yeah. set of drums. We've got a trombone on the wall. Yeah. I mean, if you really want that, we we got something for you. <laughs> we, we try to keep people away from it, but... <laughs> Now, uh, and you have a house PA there, nice, nice house PA. Too. House PA, yeah. Basically, it's a plug-and-play system. You yeah. don't have to bring, if, if you come as a, up as a band, you don't have to bring your gear. You can bring your yeah. instruments and plug-and-play. Right, right. It works it's well. It. And, and always lots of fun games. Uh, for kids, it's a family place. You know, it's a bar, but it's a family place. We've got the, well, depending on how busy the back room is, the golf hole, there's, we have a putting green in the actual floor in the back room. Yeah. Um, call us stupid, but we enjoy it. <laughs> uh, so we, had, we do have a putting green that's open if, if it's not too busy in the back room. But there's also, there's always free ping pong, free foosball. Right. Uh, if, it's, if you're dressed well, there's free tetherball outside. <laughs> and there's always, a, there's always a bonfire on weekends. Yeah. Now, what's the ring? Is that a game that... Oh, the ring toss. Oh, my God, yes. We yeah. have, I'm actually, I'm setting up two more because somebody stole our rings last week. Damn it. Um, <laughs> it's the oldest game in the world. It, it, I, ex, I actually found it in the Caribbean. Really? A lot of the bars in the Caribbean have a ring toss game. And I, I got to give a shout out to uh, Great Lost Bear in Portland. They've had a ring toss on their back porch in the summer for years. Yeah. Well, so. it's not as fun as yours. No, obviously not. No, but, no, no. But they've, done, <laughs> but they've tried. 